Okay, hi Nima, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the left knee. We've already harvested the bone marrow and made a nice bone marrow concentrate injection. This is the arthritis that you've got. Hold the camera here. And we can see in the back of this knee, on the inside, that you've lost all the cartilage where the yellow is, okay? So the cartilage is white in the front part of the tibial plateau, but as you get back here, this is where you've had some prior surgery, and this is where um, there were some loose pieces that we've already removed, but this is where you can see some of that full thickness loss of cartilage. I don't see any loose bodies or any real loose cartilage. The edges of these areas seem pretty stable. See, here's the edge of the meniscus here. Here's the edge of the articular cartilage on the tibia here, and that seems pretty stable. Here's the femoral condyle up above. We're still in the medial compartment here. And you can see some of the areas here where you've lost a lot of cartilage on the, on the femur up above as well. So that confirms what we knew and why we're doing the bone marrow concentrate injection also to try and minimize any chronic inflammation basically. This is the central part of the knee. And then in just a second, we're going to look in the lateral compartment. So hold that. Okay, so here's our look in the uh, lateral compartment. This is even more involved in the medial. You can see you've lost essentially all the cartilage on the femoral condyle here. So this is uh, obviously not what we want to see in somebody so young. A lot of irregularity and a lot of cartilage loss. Push down with your left hand. We'll see if we can open this up a little bit more, but that's pretty much it. Straighten the knee a little bit, see if that helps us. Yeah, okay, come back. Now flex the knee. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Again, I'm primarily looking for loose bodies at this point and making sure that there's nothing in the cartilage that's really loose like a flap. Okay, we'll show you the patellofemoral joint next. Okay, so this is the patella at the top of the screen. And um, as you would suspect, and a knee with arthritis every place else, you've got a fair amount of arthritis here too. Pretty tight to even get into, but there's a few little loose pieces of cartilage that we can hopefully remove. Okay. And now, We'll see if we can get any kind of look down the trochlea here. That may be difficult. Okay, so we're looking at this patellofemoral joint, and you know you've lost essentially all the cartilage here as well. And this patella is not in great shape either. You've the the cartilage is really flaking off of the patella, and we've tried to remove some of the pieces. Um, and what you'll see here, go ahead and flex the knee straight up to 90. We'll just watch the patella move here. Okay. And then come back out straight. All right, so that's about as good as we can get things here. I'm just, you can, you can see this little central area of the patella where that doesn't look stable, but believe me, it was worse before. I just don't want to take away anything that uh, is not unstable, but that's where we're at. Okay, so we're going to finish up on this knee and get to work on the right knee. Okay, so we're looking in the right knee now. This is our first look in the medial compartment. And it doesn't look great. What we do see here is you've got this meniscus tear that I think we can help with, though. See all this torn meniscus here? 
So we're going to go ahead and start the shaver. We'll trim this out. There really isn't a, a way to repair that and expect it to do well because of the blood flow here. And um, hold the camera there, please. I'm going to er, do that. So. So that's all part of the tear. You can see a little flap in the cartilage here as well. This cartilage is soft. But just getting this out should help the right knee quite a bit. Okay. And again, don't want to remove any cartilage that's hanging on, but also don't want to leave anything that's about to become loose. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done there. Anterior horn of the meniscus looks fine. You can see that central defect there. Okay. And now we're going to look in the central part of the knee. This is just tissue here that isn't serving any real purpose. The ACL is back behind what's left of it right there. We'll show you some more in a little bit. Okay, so now we're in the lateral compartment of the right knee. We're just trimming a little bit of this lateral meniscus. It doesn't need much. And actually, this is, of all the places we've looked so far, this looks the best because we can still see cartilage covering the tibial plateau and the femur up above actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. We'll keep looking here, show you some more in a minute. Okay, so this is the patella and the patellofemoral joint on the right knee. This actually looks a lot better than the left. We're just flushing a bunch of water through, making sure there's nothing else loose. But we can see that the cartilage is in much better shape over here than in the other knee. Even, even with that, though, there's still signs of some breakdown of cartilage right here in the trochlea. So you can see right in the middle here, you, you've got some thinning of the cartilage. And so that's what we're looking at there. So we're going to finish up here. We'll do a little more work, but we're going to finish up here in just a minute. Close the portals and do the, uh, the bone marrow concentrate injection and then get you back to the recovery room. So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.